Capricorn. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn for the month of May 2019? Are you guys in this energy of... I'm going to say accepting an offer, but a lot of you guys are not seeing it at that at this time. <laughs> hey, boo head, this is your first time watching my channel. I'm open. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I could, okay? So, if cussing does not work for you, feel, feel free. I found another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? New familia, what's popping? What's up, gang, gang? Welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here. We might cry. You know, we might cut. We do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we evolve, we enlighten, positive vibes only. We live fighting the fuss and shit on other people's channel. Most people don't play that shit, okay? Uh, to the returning subscribers, gang, gang, familia. You guys, we have literally been pushing through these retrogrades. And I got to say, Jupiter don't fuck with me like that. I'm, I think it's, I realize now that it's my Piscean aspect. And my Jupiter lies in Taurus, who has sometimes quite the hard time speaking up and saying what the fuck they mean and meaning what they say. So that said, it could be a bit, you know, if I stumble on my words, y'all just bear with me because it's been quite the interesting shit, okay, I've been losing words, and, you know, neither hit of them, um, you guys, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, I truly appreciate it, I'm really, really humbly appreciative for all of you all, and all the support that you've given me, and all the love that you've given me, um, in the midst of having my channel open, I, tr I humbly appreciate that, you guys, as you know, this is a general, it's not a personal, meaning that it's not going to resonate with everybody, take what does, leave the rest, Y'all know how I feel about them damn shoes. If the shoe too big, don't try to put that motherfucker on because your ass gonna fall. All right? So without further ado, let's get into it. This will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Capricorn. Currently, I'm sorry, y'all. Mini announcement. I'm gonna make it quick. I don't know if you guys use the community tab, but because I like to connect with my new subscribers, I'm currently doing a 10 minute one question, one answer deal. Um, I said I was gonna cut it off on the 29th, but I'm gonna have to go and extend it um, up until like the second or the third of May. Okay. I definitely want to get in um, uh, as many readings as I can, especially with that full moon coming. Oh, I'm sorry, full moon, new moon on May the fourth. Okay. I definitely, for some reason, I feel like that moon is gonna be very critical to a to a, a very pivotal point in our lives, okay? Also, within that same special, I have a two-question uh, two question for $25, $25, two questions, um, two answers for 15 minutes for $25, um, as well as my 30-minute reading is currently on um, a deal of $50 up until that, you know, up until the third, all right? So let's rock. Someone rise on Venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of Capricorn. We're going to get into your intuitive messages first. Let me get my seven light one so we can hop it. Okay, so a lot of you all during the month of May, intuitively I got expansion, wealth, missing peace, health issues, new love, life path, unexpected, spiritual gifts, stalking, premonition. Synchronicity, fear, clear audience, legal documents, family, let go, balance, growth, shadow self, closures, vulnerability, assets, compromise, lack mindset, presence, moving away, unexpected, control. Okay? So if the intuitive messages did resonate with you, you guys, this message is for you. Let's talk about it, okay? I'm doing things a bit differently this month because I, I, I'm trying to work out the spacing on my um, on my computer. You guys, this computer is still ticking with me, but it's starting to flash. I know I'm going to need a, computer, a new computer really soon, so I'm trying to work it out with the space. So we're going to rock, okay? We're going to do things a bit differently. You know I'm an Aries, so I will, just, I will change some shit up quicker than you can blink your eye, okay? Let's rock. So, the energy around you all generally for the month, I definitely see some of you all will be in this space of 
um, making some type of new business endeavor. Some others of you all, this has to do with matters of the heart when it comes to love, partnership, okay? I definitely feel some of you all have been doing a lot of praying, especially when it comes to renewing um, or some type of healing energy around the relationship aspect. And I feel like this is more for my couples. I definitely see um, there being a harvest with your prayers being answered, you and your partner coming to some type of agreement, some type of compromise, and coming to... Um, some type of uh, a form of a new start, okay, or or um, a breakdown, a rebirth, okay. Some of you all um, during this time, there's a need for you guys to really, really, really. It's a focus on the throat chakra for some of you all, uh, and I feel that I don't know where you you guys may want to see where your Jupiter is sitting and kind of where I believe Jupiter and Uranus is in. Uh, not Uranus, Jupiter and Pluto is a retrograde, I believe. So you may want to see where your Pluto and your Jupiter sits and how it's going to affect you um, during this retrograde. Um, because a lot of you all may see, I'm, I'm seeing that you guys may be very sensitive and you may find it harder or to either control your ass, um, control your anger, the anger aspect of yourself during these full moon cycles, or you may find yourself very irritable for some of you all. Um, for some of you all, um, it's going to be this aspect of sadness, but it's like you have, it's, it, it's kind of like, a. It's a pressure bus, pressure bus pipe feeling. It's like you guys have so much things, so many things that you want to say, but in order to keep the peace, you guys are overextending your own peace and just not speaking it. Okay, so there's a need for you guys to speak up in the month of May. I'm also saying for those of you who could be dealing with legality issues, anything having to do with like court systems, assets, um, some of you guys could also be finding out about some type of will inheritance or some type of money that was uh, being either. Some of you guys, I'm hearing this is connected to your spouse. Some of y'all could actually be going through some form of divorce, some form of a divorce, and there's some type of court documents or some type of um, assets or um, outside accounts that you guys weren't really familiar with with your spouse. Like you really found out that you didn't really know this person as much as you thought you did at all. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Libra. Some of you all, um, or the sign of Libra. Or that Libra energy, that fairness is going to be very, very important during this time for some of y'all. Some of you guys, the angels need you to know that you are protected, that you are you are being divinely led for a lot of you all. There's a sense for some of y'all to detox. And for some of you all, you may be going through some type of like rehabilitation center. Or you may be thinking about going to, even if it's doing some type of work around uh, some type of mental health issues or rehabilitation or things of, uh, things of that nature. Some of you all may be... Um, Definitely focus on your life purpose. This is a very spiritual time I'm feeling for the sign of Capricorn. Some of you all, there's a focus on, some of y'all may have an either an inactive or a overly active solar plexus. So some of you guys may um, be prone to uh, procrastination during this time where well, usually you guys are on your shit. But I feel like this is more for the Capricorn woman. You may feel that, okay, and I'm also hearing menstrual. So some of you guys may experience some type of like shift in your menstrual cycle around the moon cycles. Going forward, some of y'all may have like two cycles within a month. Some of you all may also, um, for those of you who are pregnant, you may experience some form of like hemorrhaging or some form of like, you're going to be okay, but it is some form of like um, spotting or bleeding or something like that. There's a need for you, again, not to overextend because I definitely feel there's some type of, and some of y'all could also be finding something out about high blood pressure. So health issues may be recurring during this time. And I definitely feel like it's things that was once swept under the rug or not taken seriously. They're coming back in a in a bit more of a massive way. And I definitely feel the energy of you guys being just fine, but um, it's just a focus. It's a wake-up call for you to um, take your health more seriously. You're out here chasing the bag, but it's going to be plenty of bags to chase. But if you ain't good, how the hell is you going to maintain chasing the bag? Get me? All right? So you guys, I am uh, pulling for, I did pull from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue for this month. This is where I was getting your spiritual messages as well as your angel messages and, com and, by, and, uh, and combining them, okay? You guys, the, the first angel message that you guys got was Moon Cycles. Oh, sorry, y'all. It's Moon Cycles. Archangel Haniel. 
Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. So any creative ideas, this is for the Capricorns that I feel like we're being divinely led to do something, act upon something, some type of entrepreneurship, and I feel that very strongly. Some of you guys may be investing in cryptocurrency during this time or getting more information about it, something about transportation. So some of you guys may be investing in like temporary hot shots to make money if you're in the middle of a job. Some of you guys also may just randomly want to just get up and just go start over in a whole other state. Um, and I do see you guys actually acting on that in the month of June, I'm hearing. Um, for some of you all, some of you guys may be going through like rapid or like random divorces. Um, it definitely has to do with um, past life energy with that Pluto being in retrograde. It's about scorpionic energy, the death, the rebirth of things, you know. So with that, there may be um, conversations where there's coming to some type of agreement or some type of order, especially if you have some type of family structure. It's a need for there to be compromise, but there being, being reciprocity within the compromise, okay? So I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to take it easy around the full moon and the new moon. And for some of you all, there's some type of esoteric or divine in, divine information that is going to be coming to you all. Some of y'all may have a massive download around. Um, for some of you all, I'm hearing new moon, but for some of you all, I'm hearing the full moon. And then the number three and the number nine. So some of you all, whatever you were dealing with three months ago, for some here and some of y'all three years ago. For some of you all, um, nine months ago, nine weeks ago, whatever it was that you were waiting to hear from or coming to some type of closing, I do see things actually going in your favor. There being divine order and some type of balance, okay, and some type of um, some type of help, okay. Some of you guys, you may be receiving help from other people. Please take the nice gestures as far as receiving and being open to receive from other people because you guys are praying and sometimes spirit has a way of simply sending people amongst our paths with the small things just to test our ability to receive okay so the next uh, angel message that you guys got comes from Archangel Ragio it's divine order everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see the underlining order so there's a need for you guys to see love look at things during the month of May from a, from a, from a spectrum of love and look at things from a spectrum of order not from a not from a place of hurt or malice or uh vengefulness because you guys I don't know where Mars is but I, I'm gonna have to check because you guys are really I, there's a, again your temper. I can't I can't stress that enough because it keeps coming for me. Okay. Lastly you guys got counselor Archangel Azrael. And again, you see how that angel is on top holding that woman's shoulders? Trust the God. Allow the God that moves through you to do accordingly. Because some of you guys are, and for some of you all, thank you, Spirit. Some of you guys, look up the step-in step in process. And yes, when you do have a step-in, you do agree to that before coming into this life. And usually that occurs when we have issues with like ending cycles or um, hurdling. Oh, look, y'all Google free, okay? So y'all ain't trying to make these damn long videos. I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes. Love y'all to death. I got to do some more. I got to keep it moving, okay? But the step-in process, definitely look into it. There's a video, um, there, well, there's a channel on YouTube called DNA Activations, as well as Higher Self. Um, and they have a lot of information on it, as well as Pleiadians and Arcturians. But that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother video, okay? So what you guys received was, and some of y'all may also see uh, be seeing receiving uh, messages from your ancestors, some type of like geometrical symbols or some type of um, alchemic symbols having to do with uh, your lineage. And it's also, it's a form of like way showing. Some of you guys are really needing to reach out to your guides and way short more so than depending on your own understanding from a, from a place of ego during this time. You guys got counselor. Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance that goes back to that entrepreneurship. For some of you all, you're wanting to um, start some type of entrepreneur business when it comes to counseling or advising. Uh, some of you all may be going back to school during this time here, and some of you all, um, this is going to be after some type of 
major catalyst situation. So some of you guys may go through a breakup and just after that breakup, you've been feeling that need of a new start. You just, that's the catalyst situation that moves you forward to a whole other state or moves you forward to investing in that business. Or maybe you had, um, well, there was possibly a lack of finances in the, in the union because of someone's poverty mindset and the lack mindset. You think lack, then so be it. You're going to have that. You're going to experience that. All right. So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Capricorns in love for the month of May? Someone rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Capricorn for the first half of May. What can they expect in love? Oh. What can my Capricorn, okay, expect in love for the month of May? 2019. Thank you. Some of you guys may be looking to your past. Uh, some of you guys may have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius from the, from your past. Um, wanting to come back and reach out to you. This person wants to offer you some form of a new beginning. For some of you all, there is a lot of passion and there was stability in this relationship in the past. I definitely feel like for some of you all, this person could be older than you. But there is some, some, some sort of transformation around your passions and you moving upon your passions. For some of you all, it's a confidence issue. There's a need for you guys to uh, speak positive affirmations, speak life into your endeavors. Because for some of you all, you're closing out of cycle in order to transform another one, okay? With this Wheel of Fortune on top of the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician with the King of Rods. So some of you guys, you are focusing on um, your life purpose. Some of you guys, your life purpose is tied to your abundance in this life. But some of you guys had to um, hurdle over some type of past life karma would have to do with like resisting and letting things go or this fear of the unknown because of your like due to the sense of comfort. Some of you guys, okay, some of you guys are moving forward away from any type of third party endeavors, any type of third party. Then as soon as somebody tells you that they got a spouse, you just sign with the shit. Some of you guys could be moving away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, end of the cycle with this person due to there being some type of information or some you receiving some type of information. I'm hearing dreams. Some of y'all may get some type of first. It's like the initial, the initial revelation may come from your dreams or some type of, um, some of y'all got a telepathic connection with someone and you're going to realize that during the month of May. And so you can kind of hear their thoughts. Some of y'all going to be freaking you out. You can hear this person's phone conversation. So I feel like there's some type of information, um, especially when it comes to something that you ask someone directly. That's very important. Okay. Cause some of you all, you're dealing with someone who just really wants to move forward because they really want to keep their options open. Some of you all want commitment. You want something solid. You want fulfillment. And this person just wants to know that they ain't missed out on the damn thing. That's where they just move forward on that. But some of you all who've been married. Okay. Yeah. Some of you all, someone wants to move forward because they're not in love anymore. Someone, someone's going to be expressing, you know, or I feel like you or another person is feeling this, but instead of saying it, you know, I feel like you guys are watching each other. Somebody could be going through someone's phone during this time or could, I'm also hearing someone could send crosswire. So someone could. Some of you guys could get some type of clarity or some type of confirmation on something that you asked, some type of truth or missing piece that, that you were missing due to someone sending the wrong message to somebody during this time. Like somebody was trying to take their side piece and they take the husband or the wife on some shit. And some of you all, some of you guys want to move quickly into a situation. Well, I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have cut this person off uh, in the past, and this person could have cut you off. You could be watching this person during this time, and this person could be watching your social media. I don't feel like they're in the bushes. I just definitely feel like this person is indecisive on someone is indecisive on how the hell to come back because they ultimately have love, but they don't really know how to move a connection. This is somebody who really is kind of immature when it comes to love matters. Also, some of you guys are indecisive. Some of y'all are indecisive uh, about a water sign and an air sign. Some of you guys have two people. Some of you guys could be indecisive uh, regarding cutting off a relationship that has just been sexually based because some of you guys could see that this person is moving on and you just really don't want to share your damn cake. Like, no, I feel like that's pretty damn narcissistic for whoever that's for. But, hey, I'm not judgmental. I just tell it how it is. We still family. Fuck it. You know, shadow aspect of myself. I had to get away from that vibration. So, I mean, take one and no one. Fuck it. Yeah, for some of you all, some of you guys are, some of you guys, you have a Sagittarius from the past coming back to make you an offer, Capricorn. 
But for some of you all, this person is giving, this coming back with a little bit, a little too less, a little too late. This person still coming back giving little. They want to give just enough to get them in the door, but they still coming back with that same toxic ass energy and mindset when it comes towards commitment. I definitely feel like someone in the past gave very little. I mean, someone only knows how to express themselves through sex. Like this person don't really know how to love or for for that damn for that damn uh for that damn matter communicate for some of you guys. Some of you all have been patiently waited or feeling like waiting for someone to release themselves from a karmic situation or some type of toxic relationship before accepting an offer possibly from a, excuse me, possibly from a tourist. Some of you all, there's some type of clarity that's coming in. It's coming in divine time and having to do with the air sign. This could also have to do with the child. And some type of toxicity that I feel like someone kind of swerved away from in the past. But it's coming, I'm hearing resurfacing, so it will be resurfacing during this time. For some type of solution, and solution, ultimate closure. And for some of you all, this could be some type of truth around children. Which is ultimately going to make you feel as if, you know, feel rejected or feel as if, you know, um, some of you guys may be beating yourself up. Like, how could I not know this? Especially for those of you who have intuitive abilities. But it was destined for this to happen. So some of you all, this person is just a catalyst to your awakening. And, a, and for some of y'all, it's a catalytic situation in order for you to move forward. Because someone has been beating themselves up on really which way to go. Do I stay in a marriage or do I go follow my heart and fuck with this young thing? Because somebody got a young thing. Okay, somebody got a little tender. A tender, young tender, baby. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely feel like you're making a decision during this time. And I feel like for some of you all, this could be you or this other person setting boundaries because I definitely feel like either there, someone has fallen out of love or the love is lacking. They're like the love is lacking. It has to do with there not being some type of clear, like some type of clarity like before. And for some of you guys, you want to come back into union with somebody, but before things can transform, because both of you are in a very, a very stable point in your life, before things can transform, someone has to, um, someone literally got to lay this shit out on the table. Some of you all just have to do with someone opening up and going and, and being more vulnerable before things can start anew. Okay. But for some of you all, this have to do with deception and some type of uh, information that you receive that assists you in dropping a damn burden some information that got you out here drinking and smoking and, you know, feeling real good for your ass to go to bed. You got to come home and get some wine for you to cook some food because you really don't like this motherfucker. So there's a need for you guys to stand firmly in your truth. Step outside of the situation and see it from a bird's eye view or see it from a third, like a, a mediator's perspective. Take yourself completely emotionally out of these situations in order to see it from love and see it from a place of gratitude for this next level of ascension that you're getting ready to go through. Because for some of you all, it's catalyst situations happening that's going to put you in this place of solitude because for some of you all, this is happening. For some of you all, for that vibration of being afraid to being, being afraid, being afraid of being alone, the fear of the unknown, letting go. Trying to control situations that are fated to fall because this person is a karmic partner for some of you all. And some of you guys are um, going to be ending a cycle to start something new, possibly with a Leo, Aquarian, Scorpio, or Taurus. For some of you all, you leaving this damn person and ending the cycle with them, okay? So this is what I have for my Capricorns for the month of May in love. If you guys want to take advantage of that reading special, definitely go find that within the community tab. And remember, I extended it to the month of May, um, to the month of May on the 3rd. So I'm going to put that in all of, all of the videos for those of you who are cross-watching. I love you guys very, 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 very much. And I will see you back mid-May. Namaste, babies.